Hello, this is Hebrew Hybrid. Welcome to another toy hunt video. Just got a call earlier today that a certain statue that I had pre-ordered has come in. What did I pre-order? McFarland Toys Wonder Woman designed by Jim Lee statue. You know, I've been wanting a Wonder Woman statue for quite a while. Uh, some of the ones that I kind of liked were just way out of my price range, but this particular one looked cool. About $50, about $5 down pre order, so done deal. I'm gonna go in and pick it up now. Ah, you knew what I was coming for. I want to take a look around real quick first. Oh, excuse me. Oh, look what we got here. Huh. Got Two Face. Huh. We got Batman. I'm going to pick that up. Just got done over at the GameStop over on uh, 21st Bays. Get ready to hop on over to the Target. Walmart. Get ready to hop on over to the Walmart. I wish I was going to Target. I have better luck finding stuff there, I think. I don't know, maybe 50-50. But let's go aside, see what the hell they got in the toys. Let's see if they have any new McFarlane merchandise. Looking for newer superpowers, new DC multiverse, even some new Marvel Legends, maybe even some Transformers. Got some Transformers 1 stuff here, Bumblebees. Got some Transformers the movie Bumblebees, which I already got one. I already got one. Nice. Got some Transformers 1 bulky talkies. Let's proceed a little further down. What all we have from Marvel Legends? Got the Spider Man's here. Got some Iron Man's. Smaller scale Spider Man figures here. Got Miles Morales and Peter Parker. So we got Venom. Some Avengers figures here. We got Iron Man, Thor, Sam Wilson, Captain America. Let's move on over here. Oop. Yep. But what in this? This is a score. Superpowers we have. We have the Justice League Superman. We got a big Batman. Just, just the Batman on Superman. It's a shame. We got Vampire Shazam. Yeah. Been wanting the Max Mercury. Part of the like the Flash universe family. Trained uh, Bart Allen Impulse. What we got here for Turtles of Grayskull? We have Tila, Skeletor. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. What we got here? We got something that I've been wanting. Score! That's the only one. Here's an AEW Supreme Collection Sting. Looks like his uh, face paints. Tad worn off. It does come with extra heads. Scoop! Well, it is a couple days later, and uh, hopped in over at the the Target over on Maple and Ridge. Here we go and see what kind of toys they got. Now, as you all know, always heading down towards the McFarlane. The main toy aisle, because that's the stuff that I'm really about. And I have noticed that 
the amount of space they have reserved for McFarlane has kind of got consolidated. Here is the new fire figure, which I would have rather them produce the um, like the non flame version instead of the green flame. It does look like a nice sculpt though, but. This is going to be a pass for me. This is the gold label, Target exclusive. This looks like it's the only one on the pegs. Just going to put that right back up here because I'm not really interested in it. Yeah. What do we got here? Silver Joker. Interesting. like the Nightmare Batman from Batman v Superman. Joker. Robin. It's a cool looking Robin figure, if you ask me. Silver Joker. Interesting. Still have another Jim Gordon as Batman Platinum Series Chase just sitting on the pegs, which nobody really cares about. Here's a Transformers Bumblebee Sunstreaker, Decepticon Soldier, another Soldier, Sideswipe Brawn, the movie Wheeljack. Mm. Marvel Legends Wolverine. The Iron Spider. <laughs> Not really the Iron Spider, but Spider Man up here with an Iron Man. We have a Luke Skywalker deck swing. About $13. Get the focus on that. $13. <laughs> They have one G.I. Joe Duke on the pegs. The Frighteners, Winston Zedmore. We have some of the Ghostbusters. Uh, Frozen Empire figures here. Looking a little too cartoony if you ask me. I think I've said that before in a past video. Here's McFarland toys, Marvel statues. Captain America. This is modeled after one of Todd McFarlane's designs. Spider-Man. Looks kind of like a Steve Ditko Spider-Man. A Bizarro and a Bat-Zarro. Two-pack. Down here we have Kryptonite Doomsdays. They look really cool if you ask me. Two of them, three, four, four of them down here. Maybe sometime in the future I might pick one up because they are pretty interesting, but kind of a low priority at the moment. I went through the other toy aisle that's adjacent to the main toy aisle that I like to hit up. We have some Masters of the Universe deluxe figures. Here's the Thunder Punch He Man, Cyclone, and Leech. We have the Origin series, the, uh, the cartoon collection. Got the Merman here. It's got Tila pictured on the back, Trap Jaw, Stratos. Still have some. Prince Adams and Cringers. Wouldn't mind having this, but said it's a low priority. Put that back. Looks like we got two of them on hand. Here's the Turtles of Grey Skull Mad at Arms. Still have three of those on hand. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Super playset. 
Target exclusive. Who is cruising figures? Star Wars Micro Galaxy Galaxy Squadron Series. If Katana Chance. up here, which is the real life late brother of Roman Reigns, Big Papa Rogers, Little San Martino, Black Hair Tristratus, Brunette Tristratus, we have the classic Hulkamania Hulk Hogan from I Am The Real American music video. Get a look at some of the uh, Hot Wheels here. Some of the die cast. Hot Wheels five packs here. So the singles as well, carded singles. Nothing that really screams. For me to buy them. So, Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, Jokerized, Target exclusive. Have the rookie and Mr. Bloom, gold label, Target exclusive, I believe. Hmm. Here we have so the Hot Wheels Race Reverse. We have Scrooge McDuck. We have Luke Skywalker, Captain America. Panther, have light blue Yoshi, Grogu, Now that we've come to the part of the video where I'm in my study, I'm showing off my haul, my newest acquisitions to my toy and comic book collection. And I'm pretty much going to start off with a closer look at this new Wonder Woman statue that I've just recently acquired. I got it at a GameStop, pre-ordered it for five bucks. Um, it's really getting to the point where I have to pre-order stuff in order to find it. It seems like the McFarlane DC Multiverse and a lot of other McFarlane stuff is getting harder to find. Same with the uh, Marvel Legends too, the Hasbro makes. It seems like they've been uh, kicking so much stuff out the past few years it just sits on the pegs, sits on the pegs, and gets uh, put on clearance. And it seems to become the routine where a lot of people were just waiting for it to come on clearance. And in all honesty, that's not good business for the toy companies. So I think that's one of the reasons why we're seeing a lot less quantities uh, in stores such as Walmart, Target, 
GameStop, etc., etc. They're lowering they're lowering their production runs to create a more of a scarcity, so that maybe someday the production runs will go up. But more or less, my opinion, the reason why a lot of this stuff sat on the pegs, they were making stuff that a lot of people wouldn't even ask for or even cared for. And a lot of stuff that people have been asking for, they've been uh, putting it off for quite a while. Like the, 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 the Wonder Woman that was in the collector's editions within the first couple series. But without any further ado, let's get a closer look at Mahal. A lot of stuff I'm going to be showing off, I did not get on camera when I did acquire it. So... Uh, you're in for a treat. You're about to see some stuff that you have not seen yet in this video. Now we are starting off with this Wonder Woman statue produced by McFarland Toys. It is about a $50 retail. Let me uh, get a good light source on it so that you'll be able to see it a lot better. This is based off the artwork of Jim Lee. As you see she's uh, holding her uh, magic lasso. Her shield is uh, strapped to her back. Got a McFarland Toys digital um, stand right behind it, along with the uh, the digital code for the digital download for uh, the statue. Uh, what its overall design is, there is a little blank they have to scratch off with a quarter to reveal the code that you would have to enter in. Here is the front of the package. Here is a good look at the back. What this side looks like. But yeah. I've been uh, waiting quite a while for a uh, decent looking Wonder Woman statue that's uh, been affordable. Um, a lot of the really cool ones I've, uh, n I I've looked at, been interested in, were in the hundreds of dollars. I was kind of eyeballing this Linda Carter Wonder Woman statue uh, back around the mid 2000s. Uh, it was somewhat affordable, but about the times I ever ran across it at comic conventions like uh, the Wizard World Chicago, uh, my money, my money was very limited, uh, and there was just so much stuff that I was wanting, so, uh, did not pick up that one woman statue, the Linda Carter woman statue, at that time, and I've tried looking for it online, uh, haven't really had much luck, uh, nobody on eBay is selling it, and haven't seen it anywhere else, so I finally acquired the one woman statue, that looked good, that's affordable, so, that's off my bucket list, so to speak. Secondly, I'm showing off the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman Forever set. Here is the Two Face played by Tommy Lee Jones. Here's the front of the package. Here's the back. Here's what this side looks like. And here's what this side looks like. Here is the Jim Carrey Riddler. Here's the front of the package. Because with, uh, uh, it, it is part of a Build-A-Figure line where it's got the, uh, like the Man Bat caricature or whatever it is that's uh, that made a brief appearance in the movie. Front right of the package. Here's the back. Here's the side. And here's this side. Here is the Val Kilmer Batman from the movie Batman Forever. He is in the suit that he uh, he puts on at the very end of the movie that has special built-in gadgets. I remember a friend of mine uh, remembers seeing uh, uh, a picture of what the suit looked like and he noticed all the distinct features and at first he's like, that's a stupid design. Why, why do they do that? It looks different from what all the other promotional pictures it looks like and I'd explain to him the reason why it looks different is probably because there's built-in gadgets on the suit that is outside of the utility belt this suit is supposed to have uh, special performance capabilities of certain things that he wants to do more or less it's gonna be a prototype so on and so forth so then he goes oh that makes sense now but as you can see he's got special accessories included in with the package uh, batarangs, grapple hook gun, the giant bat head, extra sets of fists. Here's the front of the package. Here's the back. Here's the side. And here's this side. Here is the Chris O'Donnell Robin. This is the final suit that he wears towards the end of the, the movie. 
it is basically a uh, a reconversion. It's a conversion of one of the old bat suits that was uh, modeled for Val Kilmer. Now, of course, you know they they definitely molded this to Chris O'Donnell's build, but in the movie, uh, Alfred just modified. You know, in the storyline, Alfred modified uh, one of Bruce's old suits to fit him into a Robin costume. Because with uh, two extra sets of hands with different poses, front of the package, here's the side, here's the other side. Also found an extra Guy Gardner Superpowers figure, an extra Guy Gardner Green Lantern Superpowers action figure, should I say. Here's the front of the package, here's the back. You can see I got it from GameStop for about $9.99. One of the newest Transformers that I have acquired. This is the uh, Legends United series. This is the Generation 1 character Gears. Here's the front of the package. Here is the back. Here's what the side looks like. And the other side. Let's get a good view without any glares. Try to get the light to shine on it just right. Yeah. Very happy with his design. I always kind of like Gears. You know, he's one of the most, um... He's, he's definitely one of the, in my opinion, one of the coolest looking, like, C-list characters from the Generation 1 uh, assortment from Transformers, the character lineup, so on and so forth. Here is the Studio Series Transformers the Movie Edition Bumblebee. Here's the front of the package. Here's the back. This is based off the 1986 animated movie, Transformers the Movie. If you all are not familiar with which uh, movie I'm talking about, this is not the Michael Bay Transformers movie. This is the 1986 Transformers movie. Here's the side of the package. Here's the other side. I have acquired an extra... Superpowers Black Manta action figure. This is not the uh, the Super Friends design that was the Walmart exclusive that was released several months ago, but this is the brand new edition. It's got more of a uh, silver chromish look helmet to it. All black outfit instead of uh, blue. Here is the back of the package. Got the character bio card pictured on the back. And I was very excited when I found this bad boy right here. Found this at a GameStop. This is the Cyborg Superman. This is the new 52 version of the Cyborg Superman, not from the uh, the Death and Return of Superman series. But this just looks totally badass. I mean, it looks very similar to the Death of Superman look, but it's, it's, it's more, um, looks more dynamic and more menacing, should I say. Looks totally cool front of the package here's the back here's the side and here's the other side I have also come across the McFarland Toys DC Multiverse Walmart exclusive gold label Max Mercury this is the um, this is the mentor of Bart Allen aka Impulse aka Kid Flash which would eventually assume the role of the Flash for a short period of time before they reinstall Wally West and then bring him Barry Allen back several years after that. But Max Mercury is a Golden Age character, I believe. And they brought him back around, you know, like either the late 90s, early 2000s to help be a mentor to um, Bart Allen Impulse because... Wally West was too much of a prick to mentor the uh, his young cousin, even though that Uncle Barry, which was Bar Allen's grandfather, made plenty of time for Wally West. So yeah, Wally's kind of a prick, and it was up to Max Mercury to kind of uh, uh, teach Bart how to uh, handle his speed a lot better, be a mentor, be the adult role model that Bart Allen was really needing at the time. Here's the front of the package with the gold label emblem. Here's the back. Very beautiful artwork if I say so myself. Here's the side of the package. Here's the other side. Found one of the new Turtles of Grayskull. 
Ninja Turtles figures. Here is Michelangelo. So far I have Donatello, I have Leonardo, I have Michelangelo. I don't think I've seen a Raphael anywhere. I think I've seen him pictured on uh, the back of a package of the same uh, assortment line that he was a part of. But I have not seen a Raphael. From, from what I've gathered from all the toy hunting, these Turtles of Grayskull uh, figures, which uh, that has to do with the Ninja Turtles, they're kind of scarce. I'm still seeing Man-at-Arms on the pegs, but as far as the Ninja Turtles and some of the other figures, they sell out really fast. But here's the Michelangelo, the front of the package. Here's the back, what it looks like. Beautiful artwork on the back. Got Hordak pictured on here. He's got Attila, Michelangelo, Casey Jones, and Skeletor pictured on the back. Growing up, I was always a fan of Orko. I liked the way Orko looked. Here's the front of the package for the Masters of the Universe Origin series. Uh, even though it doesn't have a Filmation sticker on it, it looks like the same version that you would see in the old Filmation cartoons. Here's the back of the package. Got Orko pictured on the back with Trap Jaw, Triclops, and Zodak. Here and there, I'm still getting uh, various packs of the Magic the Gathering Assassin's Creed cards. Here's the front of this package. Here's the back. These are ranging from like $7.50 to $8 a pack. Um, there is a guaranteed foil in every pack. Reason why uh, this particular pack is so pricey. Um, I think it's like, I think regular price might be 4 or $5 if it's just a, a random foil in a, like say like maybe one out of every three or four packs maybe but this particular assortment has a pack in every package so that's why it's a little bit more pricey i kind of liked uh, the design of these hot wheels racer verse here this is the luke skywalker with his x-wing fighter car here's the front of the package this is what the back looks like speaking of princess leia here is the princess leia car from the Hot Wheels Racerverse Star Wars series. She's uh, sitting in her vehicle that is designed after the uh, the starship from Yavin 4. I think it's um, I think it's called Yavin 4 or maybe maybe that's the planet that's in the at the end of the movie that the Death Star is getting ready to destroy. Here's the front of the package. Here's the back. And cue the music. When I saw this, I could not pass this up. Wonder Woman in her invisible jet car. In her invisible jet, she's the finest brunette. Here's the front of the package. Here's the back. I think this is a relatively new car that just got released. This was the only one that I found in the store. So I ended up snagging it up. I don't know if this is supposed to be a scarce item. Uh, limited production run, quantity, so on and so forth. But... If you're interested in this car, go out and look for it. If you're a fan of physical media, you know it's still a dying art form. DVDs and Blu-rays. I got this at Walmart. It was marked down to like $18. Still a relatively new movie. Blu-ray, digital code. Here's the front. Here's what the back looks like. Pendant picked up Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Marked down to about $5. Here's the front. Here's the back. And was finally able to locate part three of the animated uh, cartoon movie series of Crisis on Infinite Earths, Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths. Part three, got Superman holding Supergirl's, what looks like her dead body. Here's the front, here's the back. Pretty much uh, the actual DVD case looks about the same as the protective cover on the front and the back. And are you guys checking out your old local lollies? Are you keeping an eye on your local lollies? Well, I've been pick I I've been procrastinating on this figure for the longest time. Anytime I see it, and you know, it still was twenty-five dollars. Uh, kept seeing it at Walmart, waiting for them to be put on clearance, kind of like how. I say it in the video, which was a trend with uh, McFarlane Toys' uh, DC and Hasbro's uh, Marvel Legends. 
Well, there's uh, so much of a high quantity, a lot of them got uh, sent out to Ollie's, the, the bargain outlet, liquidation outlet, so on and so forth. So this is the What If series, Red Skull. Here's the front of the package. Here's the back. Here's what this side looks like. And here's what this side looks like. Part of the big Build-A-Figure line. Uh, Konshu from the uh, Moon Knight uh, TV series on Disney+. Plus. And since I'm talking about Ollie's, here is the Morbius Epic Collection, Volume 1. I got it for $9.99 at Ollie's when it was regularly like um, a $40 book retail. When I first found this, there was uh, plenty of copies to choose from. The Epic Collections, they don't really tend to overprint, but uh, for whatever case, I guess a lot of copies got sent off to Ollie's because they didn't really sell enough. Morbius not really that popular of a character, though. Uh, it is part of the Spider-Man universe. It's linked to Spider-Man, which is why uh, the Morbius movie is pretty much exclusive to Sony, because Sony's got the rights to make Spider-Man type uh, movies. The Spider-Man you're seeing in the, the Marvel movies, where you see with the Avengers, that's through a special agreement with Sony Pictures and Disney and Marvel Studios. Here's the front of the book. Here's the back, volume one, $9.99. The last couple times I've been to uh, my local Ollie's, have not seen these anymore. But that doesn't mean that your Ollie's that's closest to you doesn't have any in stock still. So if you're interested, check it out. They might have, I don't know, maybe one copy left, but you don't know if you don't check it out. More additions, more additions to my reading library is Spider Gwen Go Spider. Volume 1, it pretty much tells the origin story of uh, this particular universe's Gwen Stacy, how she got her spider-like powers, and the role that her Peter Parker played in her origin story, and why he's not around anymore. And here is Captain America, the modern series, the modern Captain America, where it uh, tells the origin not really the origin of the Winter Soldier, but uh, gives the background story of the Winter Soldier and what his past relationship was to Captain America. If you've watched Captain America Winter Soldier, the movie, you should have a general idea uh, what's going on and how this book, which first told the story of the relationship that the Winter Soldier used to have with Captain America, was pretty much a shocking revelation. Here's the front of the book. Here's the back. This is volume one of the Modern Era Epic Collection. As you can see on the binding, it says Modern Era. It's not the old uh, Golden or Silver Age Captain America. This is past the year 2000. Here is the Amazing Spider-Man Epic Collection, volume number 21, Return of the Sinister Six. This volume contains mostly artwork by Eric Larson, and written by David Michelini. He used to call, I used to pronounce his last name Michelini, but I guess it's uh, actually Michelini. You know, thanks to um, the Uncanny Omar from Near Mick Edition. Uh, I guess he, uh, he's pretty familiar with uh, how to pronounce a lot of these names in the comic book industry. Uncanny uh, Omar really knows the stuff. I watch him a lot. He pretty much lets me know what all's getting ready to come out. Shout out to the Uncanny Omar over at uh, Near Mick Edition, and also Curtis from the Epic Marvel Podcast. Never spoken with you guys, but you know, you guys, uh, you guys know your stuff. You really helped out guys like me, and uh, maybe someday uh, our paths might be able to cross on the uh, YouTube universe. Here's the front of the Epic Collection. Here's the back, and uh, like I have said. Asked a little while ago, are y'all keeping an eye on your local lollies? Because every now and then you might be able to find good deals on omnibuses. Here is a, a Star Wars Rise of the Sith, part of the Legends series. This is content that was originally published by Dark Horse Comics. And since George Lucas at the time had all the rights 
and could control everything Star Wars related. He owned everything. And when he sold everything to Disney, everything that Dark Horse did, which was owned by George Lucas, became property of Disney. So, Disney, they can reprint all the old uh, Dark Horse stuff. They can reprint all the old Marvel Comics stuff that traded uh, traced all the way back to 1977. But yeah, here's the front of the book. Here's the back. Here's what the spine looks like. And this was a hundred and twenty-five dollar book. Picked it up for thirty dollars at Ollie's. And last but certainly not least, again, are you guys checking out your local Ollie's? Here is Thor, volume one. I picked up for twenty-five dollars at the local Ollie's. These are reprinting the earliest Thor appearances in Marvel Comics. Journey into Mystery, number 83. First appearance of the comic book version of Thor. This is a $100 book, about $125 in Canada. Like I said, you guys gotta be keeping an eye on your Ollies. You're missing out on some really killer deals. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I really appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, shoot me a like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Let me know what you like most about the, the view of the hauling. Let me know what you're looking for the most. Let me know what uh, you're looking for and you just can't seem to quite find. Let me know if you found something that you've been looking for for quite a while, almost given up hope, and finally you found it. I love hearing stories about that because I got several of my own. Uh, of course, you know, nothing comes to mind, but every toy hunter has that one thing that they've been looking for, looking, 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 and just when they finally have started to give up, they finally found it. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel, ring the bell for notifications, let you know anytime I upload a new video. Support your local comic book, toy shop, and your local brick and mortar store. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.